In this video, we're going to get introduced to some properties of the uh, window and screen objects. Okay, so first of all, let's um, have a look at a few examples. So let's say we would like to um, guess the height of our browser window. So we're going to set um, create a variable, uh, window height, and we're going to set it to window dot. And the property we need to use here is the inner height. Okay, so let's send an alert uh, message. Using this uh, variable and see what our window height is. So it's 631 uh, pixels, which is the um, distance uh, from uh, there to there. Okay, so that's how we get the uh, window uh, height. Uh, there are other syntaxes that we need to use for other browsers. Um, if we want our code to work for uh, most browsers, we can uh, add each of those syntaxes. So the first one, we can add it using vertical bars. Um, so the other one is uh, document dot document element dot client height. Okay, and the other one is document body. Um, client height okay so you can see that it's working so basically uh, if we want to make sure that uh, our code works for most browsers we need to uh, a bit bear this in mind okay all right and let's comment the last message and move to something else now let's say we would like to access the uh, the width of uh, the user screen so the user's uh, uh, screen is um, so the width is going to be the whole width of the screen and not only the browser. Okay, so we're looking at the whole screen this time. So we're going to just create uh, another variable. We're going to call it uh, screen uh, width. Okay. And the syntax is going to be window.screen. Okay. And we uh, need the width, so it's going to be dot .width. And if we send that to uh, in an alert message, so window dot alert screen width. So you can see that's uh, the screen I'm using at the moment um, uh, has got a width of twelve hundred eighty pixels. All right. Okay. So if we want to get the width for the window, it's it's exactly the same thing. We just change the height by the width, and similar to that for the screen height, we just need to change the width to a height. Okay, so now let's uh, have a look at um, another example. So now let's um, guess the available height of our screen. So the available height is different from the height because uh, if we had uh, our taskbar here, basically the available height would be less than the actual height of the whole screen. Okay, so in our case, let's let's have a look since we don't have any uh, t task uh, bar there. So let's see available. Let's create a variable available uh, screen height. And we're going to set it to window.screen. And the, prop the property we need here is avail height. Okay. And let's uh, send an alert message. Okay, and we can see that's uh, the height in our case, uh, the available height is 720 pixels. All right. Okay, now we're going to use these uh, concepts to build uh, something now. So what we would like to build, we would like to have on our uh, page, we want uh, four uh, divs, all of them with equal uh, dimensions, and we want them to fit all on the page. So we want div one to be there, div two there, three and then four okay so we're going to need the width of our uh, window uh, and then also we need to use the height of the window to uh, set the uh, dimensions of those uh, divs okay so first of all let's um, create those uh, divs in the uh, body element so Okay, so um, 
let's give it an id first one so first one is going to be div one and let's add some text so div one second one is going to be div two three four two three and four okay we need to change the style of these divs to get some uh, some co uh, background color okay so for uh, div one so we're using the ID here so we want a background color Let's use this color, for example. Okay. It's going to be div two, three, and four. And let's just change this using another background color, for example, this one. And for this one, let's go for another color. Let's use, for instance, something like this. And the last one, let's use an orange color. That's fine. Okay. All right. So now we've got our four uh, diffs. So you can see that at the moment, the um, the height and the width they are both um, auto um, but what we'd like to to do now we want these divs to sit um, side by side and we want each of them to have a width which is more or less one quarter of the width of our uh, page and also the height so we want them to um, occupy uh, the whole height of the uh, window more or less okay so uh, first if we want them to um, to be sitting side by side we're going to make them all floating to the left okay so one way of doing that is by giving them a class and make them all float to the left so we're going to give them a class and say for instance equal box okay same thing all of them they're going to have the same class and then we can style this class so equal box and we want the float property to be set to left for all of them okay and now we can see that's all of them now they are uh, sitting side by side thanks to the um, float property okay now we're gonna start looking at the uh, width of these diffs and we're gonna need uh, the width of the window to set the new width of each of these diffs okay so uh, let's start with the first div so all we need to do is to access the uh, div using the get elements by id okay and then we're gonna go to the style width of the div and uh, set the width to one quarter of the width of the uh, window okay so let's do that so we're gonna need the get elements by id method and we are looking at div one all right and then style width and we are setting the width to window dot inner width okay divided by four and basically we're gonna uh, take out about 10 pixels because we, we would like to add some margin uh, later and we shouldn't forget to add a string here pixels so let's see what we get if we refresh the page okay so now we can see the width has changed and it's more or less just less than a quarter of the width of the of the window all right and we can do uh, 
the same thing for the height okay so rather than using uh, width we're just going to use height and we are setting this to the uh, inner height of the uh, window um, and let's keep it minus 10 pixels okay let's see what we get there okay we shouldn't divide by four actually because we are setting that to a more or less the uh, same height as the height of the window all right and now it's working let's just comment this alert message is this one okay okay so now we can see that the first div has got the uh, dimensions that we are after okay so we want to want to do the same thing for the other divs so rather than doing uh, than writing uh, some code for each uh, of these uh, uh, divs there is a better way is by using a for loop so we're going to do we're just going to have a look at uh, what we are repeating here so if we repeat the same code, all we're going to need to change is the parameter that we have there. So rather than div1, we're going to have div2, uh, 3, 4, okay, for, for both uh, lines. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a for loop. So, so the piece of code to run is going to be this, okay. And if we set uh, a, a, a variable i, here yeah. so rather than div we're gonna have div plus i okay and the same thing div plus i and we are initiating i at one at the beginning and then we want i to be less than five and i goes up by one every time Okay, so let's try it now and see. Okay, so we, we get exactly what we wanted. So now we can see that um, all divs, they are uh, sitting side by side and their uh, dimensions are exactly what we wanted. So now let's uh, just add some um, more styling here. So let's add a margin left just to separate these divs. So let's go for five pixels. <coughs> 